it's Bridget here. So today I have a very special video for you. It's the first ever hair tutorial on my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a French braid. So a while back in August, I did a video of a French braid fail that I had. And a lot of you guys commented asking for a tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna to bring to you today. I wanna to say thank you to the folks at Natural Pro for teaming up with me on this video to bring you this tutorial. So first up, I'm gonna be using the Majestic Oil 100% Moroccan Oil Ultra Hydrating Styling Cream. So this morning when I washed my hair, I already put a pump of this in damp, but I'm gonna use just a little bit extra, only about this much, but if your hair is totally clean, you definitely wanna put in a styling cream to help tame frizz and give a bit of a soft hold. This one's really nice. Argan oil is really conditioning for your hair, and also, this stuff smells amazing. It's kind of like a warm, ambery, woody scent, and it smells divine. So I'm gonna just brush that through my hair. So now you have to decide if you wanna do a really tight, neat French braid, or if you wanna do something a little messier. So I'm gonna show you how to do both today. And the first step is to make a center part down the middle of your head. And for this, I'm gonna be using this teasing comb because it has this handy dandy pointy end. And I'm just gonna part straight down the center. If you're doing a super tight, neat braid, you definitely wanna pay attention to the part and make sure it's perfect. But if you're doing like a messier look, then you don't have to worry so much about the part being perfect. You can tie one half back. You wanna take one piece right at the top, kind of a small chunk, and then you wanna divide this into three pieces. And once you have three even pieces, you wanna take one piece, put it under and through to the center, and then do the same thing on the other side. So this part is just like a normal braid, you're just pulling one piece under. And then to do a French braid, each time you pull a section under, you wanna take a little piece of the rest of the hair. So take a bit of the loose hair, and then pull that under into the center. And just keep doing this as you go. Try to make sure the pieces are even that you that you pull into the braid. And then keep going all the way down. Okay, and then when you get down to the end, just continue with a regular braid once all the pieces that are loose have been tucked up into the braid. And don't worry if it takes a little bit of practice or if you don't get it the first time. It's definitely something that each time you do, you'll get a little bit better. And also, if you have someone else to practice on, that's ideal. It's definitely easier to learn on braiding someone else's hair than it is starting off braiding your own hair in a French braid. Just braid all the way down to the end. And tie it off with a hair tie. And then do the same thing on the other side. And you really wanna try and make sure that you keep each braid in the center. So when you start in the second half, make sure you don't go too far up here or too low down there. Try to keep them even. And that's how you do the inside out French braids. And you can totally leave it here if you want. I would recommend giving it a good spritz of hairspray. I'm using the Volumax Seize the Moment Freezing Spray, which has a really strong hold, which is definitely something you want in a braided look if you want it to stay in place all day. But I'm going for a messier look, so what I'm gonna do now is pull out and lightly loosen the braid to give it a looser, more lived in look.
And this is pretty easy. You're just kind of squeezing it between your hands and sort of pulling, rubbing with your fingers so it pulls the hair out. And again, this isn't necessary, but if you like the look of kind of a bigger, fluffier braid, then this is how you achieve that. And when you get to this step, you'll know why it's important that you used the styling cream earlier because you'll see that you really need your hair to have a little bit of texture in order for it to stay when you grab it and pull it where you want it to be. And at this point, I'm also gonna grab a few baby hairs from around my face and just kind of pull some pieces out. You can use the comb for this or you can just use your fingers. Just kind of grab little bits so that it's not so done up. And then when you've got it looking the way you want it, take some hairspray and give it a good dousing. And this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you like this look, which version you would choose, or if you want to see more hair tutorials on my channel, give this video a thumbs up. And I want to say a big thank you to Natural Pro for teaming up with me and sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.